As you may know, Aldora inside of Battles 2 has been received a buff in the 3.2 recent update. If you guys don't know what they changed, here's what they did. First of all, they said the base cost used to be now to 850, it'll be now to 700. And the XP leveling curve will be 1.5 times Striker Jones, XP 1.5 times Quincy XP. And level 3 Law Arm of Light's ability increased Pyrrhus by 2 times, it'll be now to 2.4 times. And they explain Waldar has a demonstrated effectiveness in the later stage of the game. Her performance is lacking early on, especially initially before she's upgraded to shoot out multiple sparks. To address this, we have a lower of a base cost as it changed the leveling curve, so that she can reach some of the key early levels at a little sooner. Furthermore, Long Arms has been approved to make it as a more impactful ability as it currently offer Mercure as system. That is why for today's video, we're going to be showcasing the good old buff of Dora inside of Battles 2 since I know Adora deserves a buff inside the game. Hopefully, it's actually worth using it since I know Adora is actually not the best hero since the last update. But now, people might think it might be pretty good still. We will find out if the door is pretty good or not, all right? So, if you guys don't know my channel and want to see more content like this, make sure you sub and also smash the like button if it's not already. But without further ado, let's just jump right into today's video. All right, here we go, ladies and gents. We got this map Oasis, and we're going to be using Odora Ice farm and super so we're going to be starting off with the good old ice tower and then we're going to go for the adora on round one because if you guys can see the price cost for the adora that's right it is now 700 because adora did receive a buff in the 3.2 recent update which we're going to be focusing on on her for today since i know if you guys may know adora is definitely one of the newest hero inside of battles 2 since the last previous update in the 3.1 but it's definitely not one of the best hero in my opinion. But hopefully this time we're going to see if the Adora hero is actually worth using it. But anyway, this guy has a Darn Gunner and he's got the Adora which is going to be their loadout. So I'm assuming that he's going to be using some type of Super Monkey strategy, I believe. So we're going to see if we do go for the Super Monkey in the next round or round 3. So I do need to get that up to a Super immediately here. Um... Hopefully we don't leak down some trivia lies because I need to make sure we don't end up leaking down. Oh, I think I'm going to leak actually. Okay, let's get that over the super monkey. All right, let's get it. Now, I know you guys may know that this is not a great strategy here, but it's really good actually. Because apparently when you go for the, for the good old Adora on round one before that, it directly gets buffs from the super monkey early, which allows you to give him one plus Papyrus on the super. So hopefully this time we're going to see if we do somehow... Go laking for today, since I know my opponent is going to be going laking with the strategy, which is Darling. And I think this guy might be going, he's going to be using maybe some type of Darling. Maybe Darling Village Super, which is going to be my only guess. Um, hopefully, if we do go for this increased production all the way to get to the great production, then we should be quite vibing here. So hopefully we will see if we do be making sure that... That we have to go for the great production like ASAP here. Now we're back at the BFP Coliseum. And yes, I made it to Hall of Masters last season for the last day. I know I was going to go for the whatever badge I get. I got like, I think I got like top 25% badge in my profile. So I'm very, very happy to get the top 25% badge. Since I know top 25% badge is definitely one of the best things I want to get. Because again, I don't want to get back into top 100. Because here's the reason why I don't really want to go for back to top 100. Like, top 100 is definitely not the way for me so I can, like, able to stay in Hall of Masters. Because if I do get top 100 or top 50 or top 25, then that means that I will be in Hall of Masters for the rest of the entire season. Which, I really don't want that to happen like last time. Because, again, I just really don't like how this happened. Because I really do prefer looking for some easier content inside of BT Battles 2. Um, hopefully we'll go for the Ice Tower if we do need to get that straight. Um, let me see if we could go for... I'll go for the Vaughn Bananas, actually. And then after that, we're gonna go for the Ice. And we're gonna try to go for the Abrilma, because I think the Abrilma will allow us to, to decamel every storm out of the balloons here. Um, hopefully if we do save it to go for the Abril, then we should be quite fine with it, though. But yeah, as I was saying, I know Hall of Masters is definitely gonna be pretty brutal to find some content. Especially you can easily, like, find some any decent amount of harder players that decide to run meta every single time they want to, like, go for the meta strat. It's just literally not worth it to do so, since I know I've been, uh, don't really wanted to go back into Hall of Masters in this time. Uh, but since I'm back in BFB, hopefully we'll find some good easier content because I want to showcase some good buffs in the recent update on the 3.2 in Battles 2. Like all the towers were buffed because I think Tag Boomerang or something like that did receive a buff in the 3.2. So I will have to make a video on that. 
Uh, hopefully, if we do somehow send a lot of progression Nico, I think we will go for the Abrilliant as possible. Also, the test is definitely pretty annoying because I think there is a bug that every time every round that comes by, like I think it starts on round five. Basically, the test comes out for some reason, but hopefully Ninja Kiwi will probably fix it in the next 3.2.1 update on the bug fixes because I think many people are, are probably getting annoying from the text at the back here. Hopefully, they'll have this fixed for sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and go for another farm here because I need to go for... I might have to try to go for the Monkey Wall Street probably as soon as possible. And I still need to get that Dio Brillman up. Don't forget about that. And yeah, it's kind of been annoying to see because you guys can see the, the text here. You guys hate to see that. But hopefully they'll fix it in the next patch since everybody used to hate the text that pops on the screen. I mean, I get the feeling though. It's just really annoying. But we'll go for the Abrilliant on the Ice Tower so we can easily allow to decamo every camel balloons on round. I think around 18 before any camels come out. Um, but yeah, it's already round 18 right now. And I still need to get up to a better farm position since I know I've been slacking trying to... Um, Sent a lot of trivia ecos inside of battles too. Um, hopefully, if we do have enough money, if we do need to go for the for the plantation, then we should be quite fine here. Because I know we're both going to be going late game with using the strategy, of course. I mean, if I lay down one or two, then there's really no point for me. So we could probably just still make him like GG round 40 or so. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop like right on now. Also, this AI or balloon sense are definitely going by. I do not know if we're going to be okay against that. But we're going to go for this epic range so we can easily give a another pierce on that. But I'm not too sure if this will be possible to go for the Monkey Wall Street, if that will be fine. Also, he's got the Super Monkey. Yup, it's going to be Darling Village Super, which is going to be the way. And speaking of village, this guy does not place on the village the entire round. Also, are we good? Oh, no, I'm dead. Wait. Oh my god, that was so close. I almost leaked down very much a ton here. Also, the tower boost animation or the effect looks really, really sick. Looks like there's a spoon and the forks on it. Holy cow, that's a very decent amount of animation I like. Oh my goodness. Alright then, let's go ahead and go for this upgrade to the Icicle. Oh, now we place on the village. On round 22. Okay. Well, it's a good thing this guy will be going for the good old classic Darling Village Super. If you guys know the strategy, this used to be one of the best late game strat inside of Battles 2 every single time that people has been using. Especially the guy named Player. If you guys don't know who Player is, he runs the strategy very much. And he used the strategy like every single map, especially in the short maps like this. Literally, Player is definitely one of the Darling Village Super best inside of the game here. Um, hopefully we'll go for this upgrade to the Monkey Wall Street very, very soon here because I need to get that up very, very quickly. Um, hopefully we don't leak because if I do leak, there's no point for me just to be able to regenerate our lives here. Or just go for the upgrade to the Bond Crossbar for the Super. Like, I kind of forget to mention this. So, let's try to, um, easily go for the Monkey Wall Street before Ceramic comes out. Um, hopefully we'll easily get up to before, before the ramping here. Um, ceramic. Yep, here comes the ceramic. All right, let's go ahead and get that monkey Wall Street up. Oh, I'm like dar short off. Oh, I'm like nine off. Okay, there we go. We got the monkey Wall Street. Nice. Also, we should probably go for this upgrade to the snowstorm or the Arctic one, whatever you call it, because I think snowstorm along with the Abrilliant upgrade will probably help out very much a ton here. Um, let's go ahead and go for once again, get up to the defense here, and I will go for another super monkey, which is going to be, I think it will be the good old upgrade. For the Sun Avatar, if this guy decides to counter me with some stuff, then we will probably go for the good old Sun Avatar. Just able to help out against some rushes here. As for round 28, I'm not too sure if this guy will accept to send me with some tight ceramics along with the DTs behind. Because if he does, then we'll go for the Snowstorm Micro. And then after that, we'll probably go for the for the Tech Terror at the end here. Actually, I think the Snowstorm ability will easily handle against any Hyper Dense Ceramics. Because with Hyper Dense Ceramics along with the with the good old Snowstorm, I think we will be fine here if this guy decides to able to counter me with some Hyper Dense Ceramics in it. But we're going to try to go for the Beast Central very, very soon here. But we're going to try to eco a little bit since I know I'm like way behind a little bit of a set of eco. Um, I need to see if we can go for the Beast Central first as possible. So let's go ahead and get that Beast Central up. There we go. Now, I do want to go for a level 20 from the Adora very, very soon. Because I need to make sure that I have to block Sacrifice from the, from the tower that I want to get, which is the Tech Terror. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the block Sacrifice on it. There we go. And I think it does directly Sacrifice or block Sacrifice for level 20. And yep, it's already level 20. Alright then, so... Let's go ahead and start building some more farm progression. And I do not know if we have enough space. Oh, I see the spot. I see the, the good pixel perfect placement spot. 
All right, let's go. And let's see if we do go for... I think we were about to go for the Abrittle. Maybe this will be the good old the Abrittle man once again. And I think I'm going to have to sell you. Keep on... I think this will be a good amount of the Abrittle man cross path, I'm feeling. But I don't even think that will not be a good cross path, in my opinion. Also, we should probably go for the Monkey Nomic. So we could probably still be sure... If we do need to get up to the better defense here, especially if we could go for the Sun Goddess Adora, I think we are going to be good with it. Since I know Sun Goddess Adora is going to be pretty much helpful if we do need to make sure that we have to somehow take it late along with using the strategy. And speaking of the strategy, he's going to be using some type of pretty decent amount of the super strat. Um, I'm not sure if this guy will, um, will expect to try to go leg him or so. But we'll use the ability on the good old Monkey Nomics. And let's go ahead and rebuy and sell the, the Monkey Nomics once again. Because again, Monkey Nomics micro is definitely going to be pretty worth it to do so. Whatever you want to do is just to like able to micro the Monkey Nomics. Then you'll be easily get a lot of per money if you rather get up to um to the Monkey Nomics micro inside of battles too. And speaking of that, we need to go ahead and go for the for the good old Sun Goddess Adora. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try ride to avoid it i'll just use my monkey nama's ability and i think this will be a good amount so we can easily get bust from every storm out of um of the support category because again the support category will give directly if you rather get sacrificed from the sun temple that allows to pop camo um speaking of that we're gonna go for right about now let's get that bad boy here on the good old for the good old sun temple and let's start building another one once again. If I do need to go for another farm like this, I think there's a good way we could probably still go for the for the straight amount of the defense here. Looks like this guy went for the Sun Temple already. So I think he's going to be going for the good old Sun Goddess Adora very, very soon here. Um, we're going to see if we can go for the Abrillment. If we do need to get that to the Super Brittle all the way, then we're going to try to see if we can easily give a better sacrifice from every category. Because right now it's like 200 for the true sun god so we have to be sure that we have to save more money that we have to go for the for the true sun god is adora inside of battles too so i'm not even sure this guy will accept to send me a rush like in the later on um i think we're gonna be sure if we do need to go for we're gonna keep on building another one i mean i just need to get a lot of defense here especially we can easily start prepared to go for for the sun goddess adora in battles too here but yeah i think we're about to get it probably until in the next few rounds maybe around 38 or around 39 i think we might still get it before we do need to get up to um to the every storm out of the every sacrifice from every category um let's keep on brewing buy and sell once again and yeah as you guys can see the monkey nama's ability i think they ended up changing this since i think they decided to buff it so hopefully this should be a pretty good sm smart amount that we could probably just still be sure if we have enough money that we could probably just go for the true sun god on the good old super monkey or should i say the sun god as adora inside of battles too also we'll use it right about now the ability and i think we almost have enough time that we could probably still be sure if we do have enough sacrifice from every category from every strategy which is aka magic primary and also support because support will allow the sun temple to be able to pop camo and you don't have to upgrade to the bond cross path if you do have the support category on the sun temple sacrifice or the true sun god um can i fit there i could fit there nice and we'll wait it out until in the next round comes out because i think on round 39 we were about to go for the sun goddess adora hopefully that'll be quite fine by me and i think it's supposed to be level 20 it is level 20 all right so I think we do have everything that we're going to have. So we can easily go for the good old Sun Goddess Adora. Um, I need one more. Um, I think I need one more income. And then go for the Monkey Nama's ability. To go for the good old Sun Goddess Adora. Let's get that bad girl here. Let's freaking get it. And we'll get up to... Um, we'll bring him back to the Monkey Wall Street as a second. But let's go for the middle cross map by the way. So don't forget and yeah we got the better sacrifice on the good old adora and he went for the sun goddess adora as well all right fair played against this guy now this is actually a pretty intense game even though we're both going to be going for the good old round 50 counter if this guy decided to counter me with some maybe with some stuff here against like a rushes or so then i think there will be a better choice that we could probably still be sure if we do want to go for the for the monkey wall street or not the monkey wall street but we need to get a lot ton of defense here for the good old super monkey during late game here so i'm a feeling that he's gonna get a lot ton of sun avatars on the super monkey um but we're gonna go for once again the monkey wall street so we can easily bring it back a lot of money 
And I need to go for another farm. Can I fit a farm here? Oh, uh, I don't think there's like no farm space. Okay, it looks like there's no farm space between there. Also, the Fortify is definitely going to be pushing very, very hard though. I might not have to start building another couple more couple more stuff here and it's already round 41 which is known as son of death and we'll go for the icicle impel just able to help out against any ddt's that are about to go through so hopefully if we do have enough so we can probably still prepare to go for the sun avatar span then we should be quite fine here during this linking rampaign and i think we're gonna see if we do be making sure that we have everything set up to go for before round 50 comes out so i don't think there's like no placement for the super monkey but we'll get that icicle impel up just able to help out with it and let's uh i think we will keep continuing on with some with some good old i don't know how you say but good old super monkey progression hopefully we do have enough money for the super or the legend of the night then i think we are probably gonna be good as well for late game uh let's uh hopefully if we have enough money so we can easily start prepared to get some spare up and we'll try to our best to try to get a better category and and i don't think i'm gonna fist down the I don't think there's like no place to fit down the... Oh my god, I can't fit there. Looks like I can't fit because the Sun Goddess of Door is in the way. No, I can't fit. Well, I guess it's fine since I know we're not going to get sacrificed. Oh, I have an idea actually. What if I sell you? Oh, I think that's a good spot. I think this will be a good spot for the... Oh, Monkey Nomics. I need to go for the Monkey Nomics. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I think I got it. Monkey Nomics? Please tell me I have the better sacrifice. Nice, we got it. Holy freaking cow. All right, well, at least we got the good old Sun Temple that sacrificed from the support category, so I'm very happy with that. And it's already round 48, so I had to start prepared to go for the all-out counter in the next few rounds here. Uh, we're gonna have to rebound itself. We could go for the Monkey Namas, by the way, so I'm not even sure if I do need to get that Monkey Namas up. But I had to prepare to go for the for the round 50 counter, because if he decided to counter me with some round 50 rush, then there's really no point for me just to, um, just to be able to get that stray. Um, okay. It's already round 48. I think we are going to be good. Oh, I couldn't just go for another upgrade to, um, to the Absolute Zero or the Stone Storm or the Arctic Wind upgrade. So, it allows it to, um, to able to place some towers on the water. So, yeah. I kind of forgot to do that, though, like, earlier ago. Alright, then. I guess it's fine to say, at least. But it's almost going to be the final round, and it's going to be a pretty insane game of Vault, since I know we're both going to be going for the... I think we're about to go for the better defense here inside of Battles 2. So, yeah. I need to make sure that I have everything set up to go for it, though. And it's already round 50. Final round, by the way. Let's start sending my opponent. I mean, to be fair, he's going to send my defense. Oh, he sent me one. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, can I Blood Sacrifice? I can still Blood Sacrifice from the Adora. Let's uh, keep sending more. Yeah, we're definitely defending. All right, then. I'll keep sending more once again since I know it's already the final round because I wanted to see if this guy might send me more fortifieds. Okay, it looks like this guy is definitely not sending me a rush. Looks like he is not. Or maybe, actually. Um, we'll go for... I'm not even sure this will be, this will be enough. I'll bloom boost it. Um, yeah, I think he is going to defend because he has the, yeah, Sun Avatar is plus with the Sun God's Adora, plus with the level 16, is definitely pretty much OP, or maybe I could kill him with that. Let me see if I can send another one. Let's see if this guy might somehow die to, um, die to every set. I mean, he's probably gonna still defend, actually. I mean, if it doesn't work, then we're probably gonna have to get a draw, which is really unfortunate, but I guess draw will be okay. Like, I don't think I never get a draw on my channel once or before. But, yeah, I guess we'll have to take that as a draw since this guy ended up defending that Lake encounter as well. But, again, it is what it is, man. He sent me another one. Oh, my God, this is bad. Uh, what do I want to do? Blood Sacrifice? Okay, I could do this. Okay, let me Tower Boost. He sent me another one. Oh, yeah, I think we are definitely going to defend that rush. He sent me so much BADs here. Wait, wait, wait. I think I can probably still defend, right? Use a snowstorm. Uh, shoot. Are we good? Oh my god, I think I'm not gonna survive this. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think I'm gonna survive this. Wait. He sent me so much. I don't think this is gonna be bad. I think we might 100% dead to this. I thought we were about to get the draw, to be honest, but it looks like we're probably not. 
Oh my god, wait, 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 please, 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 please. Tower boost, power, that tower boost, tower boost! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, it's over. No! He ended up rushing me while I was trying to get the draw. Oh my god, dude. Alright then, well, without village, there's nothing I could do, just able to defend it. I mean, I don't know why I sent so much BADs here. I could have just waited out until this guy decided to counter me. Um, but I thought it was going to be a draw, to be honest here. But hey, we decided to go late game all the way with using the good old Adora. And let me know what you guys think about the Adora buff down in the comments down below. Because Adora is definitely pretty much better than the last time. Because the last time the Adora was definitely bad. But if the Adora is actually worth it using it, let me know if you think it's worth it, alright? So, again, I'm not going to be mad about that loss. So, we'll take that for the contest. And I know we want to showcase for the Adora buff. Again, just keep going though. Bam, I'm gonna call it for today's video. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you guys have not subbed, please subscribe and also smash the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. And peace, everybody.